kid growing up, I was a huge fan of He-Man, at least the cartoon, Masters of the Universe, but I never really cared that much about the He-Man Masters of the Universe canon or its deep lore. In fact, I would have watched one episode and if it set up any canon, I would most likely forget it. Don't get me wrong, again, I love the show. I couldn't wait to watch it after school, but for some reason, I missed out on key parts. Or maybe just over time, I forgot about it. As the 90s came around and I was edging out of my 20s, I started to dive back into He-Man and I was shocked to find out some of the things I didn't know that I should have. Like Tila was the daughter of the sorceress. What? How did I miss that? Also to my shock, Man at Arms was Tila's dad. Does this mean Man at Arms and the sorceress got it on? And to top it off, guess what? I didn't even know that Man at Arms had a real name and that name was Duncan. How did I miss that? I guess if it didn't say it on the package of the action figure, or if they didn't beat me over the head with it episode after episode, it just didn't really stick in my brain. After all, I had a lot going on in my head that I had to keep track of when it just came to Star Wars. It was hard to keep up with He-Man also. I mean, how would I have room for a He-Man cannon when I had to remember stuff like Tusken Raiders only ride single file to hide the numbers, or that the XP-38 was the newer model of Landspeeder? No, no, no. I just watched He-Man and kind of totally forgot about it after that. One thing I missed out on, mostly because it's somewhat hidden in the comics or those later He-Man series that I didn't watch, is that Skeletor was Prince Adams, aka He-Man's uncle. Yep, He-Man is Skeletor's nephew. It blew my mind. I had to dig into this one as I was shocked by this, almost as shocked as I was sitting in a theater in 1990 hearing that Darth Vader was Luke and Leia's daddy. Well, I didn't know Leia at the time, but you know what I mean. And the masters of the universe. For many of you, and for people like Spectre Creative, this is probably not news, or that shocking. But I hope this video reaches some of you non-super diehard fanboys of He-Man. Let's go back to the toy line, and I mean the good toy line, the toy line from the 80s. If you had Blast Attack, Faker, King Randor, Skeargro, Ninja, Clamp Champ, or the Sorceress action figure, then you most likely have the mini comic book it came with. The Search for Keldor. If I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to deal with it because I'm going to say Keldor. Now, I'll be honest. When it came to those little mini comic books that came free with the action figures, I looked at the pictures, but I didn't read a single one. In fact, I think I lost them after the first day. They probably got thrown away with the package. Also, the comic came with a later series of toys. I had moved on from He-Man by this time. I didn't even realize they made a King Randor or the Sorceress until the 90s. And I didn't even know what a Scarecrow was until a few years ago. So you can see how I missed this issue. But in that mini issue, King Randor explains that his brother is Kaldor. And thanks to the forces of magic, and Kaldor had disappeared years before thanks to magic. When one of his experiments backfires, leaving him lost in a dimension beyond time. King Randor and the Sorceress hope to use the power of the Three Towers to peer into that dimension. However, Skeletor finds out about this, and he isn't pleased at all. He is so upset that he summons the help of his minions, Ninja, Skirgro, and Faker. Why not Beastman, Trapjaw, and Merman? Well, I guess they had the day off, or Mattel was just trying to sell these new action figures. Anyway, the minions prevented King Randor and the Sorceress from learning anything about the Fae of Keldor. But they did learn one thing. Skeletor would do anything he could to stop them from finding out more about Keldor and what happened to him. But why? Why did Skeletor not want to learn more about Keldor? Well, we never find out in that mini comic. In fact, we don't find out for a long time. The story ended there, and we wouldn't really hear more about Keldor until 2002 in the new He-Man Master Universe series. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Greyskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous. In part one of the episode, The Beginning, Kaldor leads the evil warriors in an attack on the Hall of Wisdom. But Prince Adam's dad, Randor, and the Masters are there to defend the Council of Elders. Kaldor takes a vial of acid, tries to throw it at Randor, who shields it, causing it to ricochet back into Kaldor's face. As Kaldor runs off with his face burning, we don't learn anything more in the episode about their relationship. 
Then comes the episode Prince of Deceit, where we get a flashback sequence that shows Keldor not long after he was disfigured by the acid. Keldor needs to survive, and with the help of Evil Lynn, he gets a meeting with Hordak. Keldor begs Hordak to save his life, no matter the cost. Hordak reaches for a skull over his shoulder and replaces it with the disfigured face of Keldor, and also giving him a new name, Skeletor. Once Kaldor, now Skeletor, sees himself, he laughs out an evil laugh. A laugh we've all heard many of times come from Skeletor. <laughs> but this Kaldor has blue skin. King Randor doesn't have blue skin. So are they really brothers? Well for that we turn to the Masters Universe classic toy line. Here again we learn that Kaldor is the brother of Randor, and they're part of the house of King Mero. And we learn that Klandor is a blue alien wraith called Gar. So maybe they're more like stepbrothers. Making Skeletor he man step uncle? I'm not really sure. And this isn't just the toy line either. In the 2021 Netflix Master Universe series, Kaldor and Skeletor are the same person, and we learn Kaldor is the older brother of Randor. There's a lot more to the story and their history, but nothing else is really needed for this video. As you can see, Skeletor and He-Man are step-uncle and step-nephew. Talk about a dysfunctional family. And you thought Captain Picard had mommy issues. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Did you already know this? Did you already know that Skeletor and He-Man were related? Or did I just blow your mind away? Let me know that and more in the comments below. And as always, thumb up and like my content, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. <laughs> Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.